Hello guys and welcome back. Second episode of Shamrock Valley. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, as you know, if you see the previous video, we have uh, we've got a bow. Uh, lift the bows off of field three, and hopefully we'll get all that done in this episode. If not, it'll uh, run over. We'll uh, we'll have to time lapse some of it. But as you can see, um, I decided to try a. Do the webcam thing on this. You'll have to excuse the marks on my desk. This is actually my uh, workbench for repairing PCs, and we've had all sorts of messy bits on here. But yeah, if we can move past that, if it works out, we'll uh, we'll continue doing it. But if not, we won't bother. But if people are happy to have the camera there, and it makes it more enjoyable for you, so be it. So, without further ado, let's um, let's jump into. CVX. Yeah, so we'll take this back to the farm. And then we shall bring back um, the trailer. Actually, we're going to have to lease it. We can't afford to buy one at the moment. But we'll take this back to the farm and detach the trailer and bring back, go to the store, lease the, I think it's the Acusis, the Square Bell auto loader. the gate so hopefully everyone's doing well whoa we're going to be on two wheels here there must be a bit of a bit of a camber there I think my accelerator is a little bit too a little bit too touchy at the moment go to the right oh. brake pedal gets sensitive when I don't want it to Let's have some beacons on. I always forget, is this my turn in here? No, it's not. That'll just take us in a big loop. So I'm hoping the camera's not uh, too intrusive. If it is, just put in a comment and we'll, uh, we'll either try and have a workaround or we will uh, take it out altogether. I just thought it might be nice to see what I'm actually using. So as you can see I don't use the side panel for the SciTech, the SayTech one. Um, it just looks too gimmicky and too plasticky for my liking. Just come out mate, it's fine. So I've got the uh, I think it's a Thrustmaster Hoyt ST or whatever it is. But it's just a standard joystick for front loader work which works quite well. And the G29 pedals and steering wheel combo which works pretty well as well as well as well yeah we'll just uh, dump this off I'm not sure where we're going to do the time lapses maybe most probably be on when I am actually uh, picking the bowels up on the field I'm going to indicate We'll just drop the trailer in the field for the minute because we haven't actually got storage anywhere yet. We own the placeable area on Gypsy Hill, I think it is. However, it, uh, we don't have the money to put any sheds in there yet. So now we need to go to the store and lease ourselves the... What is it called? Uh, battle trailers. The Arcus in FXX, FSX 6372. So it's five grand. We could have actually gone and sold that crop. However, we wouldn't have got a great deal for it. Straight out we go. Once a, there we go. Oops, sorry sir. My bad. You'd think the pedestrians would slow when you had a massive tractor coming towards them, but nope, the AI go full tilt at you. Which is epic.
Every time they come around they go very wide. See, look, look at that. That is awful pathing. I have to take that corner really wide for some reason. Not used to using indicators on this game. I'm trying to remember the way to the store. I think there's only one way to it. We'll use the middle of the road until we see someone coming the opposite way, like this gent here. Yeah. I do like these roads though. And not as narrow as some. I think it's this way, the store. I've only been on the map a little while. Once we get the trailer, we can go to, uh, I'm going to say field three. I think that's the, what number it. Look at this for a scenery. Little waterfall there. Nice little bridge. Yep, stores up ahead. One of the best things about this CVX is about 470 brake horsepower and it goes 53, which is pretty good. And there it is, the staff at the store have decided that the best direction to face that thing would be towards the uh, the tow point, towards the store. So hopefully we can get on this without smashing into the building. I'm sure the proprietors will appreciate that greatly if we don't put our nose through the wall. We are close enough. PTO. And we are away. Sort of, but we're scuffing. We're going to struggle to get out of here. We're going to have to straighten up, I think. We're still getting used to using the reversing pedal. Uh, the other way. Uh, the brake is the reversing pedal. Done without that bow trailer being there, to be fair. There we go. Are we gonna oh we might have a bit of a bit of a trading paint situation? Nope, we made it. Right then, let's get back to the field and get it done. Let's just check where we're going. And right then and right again. I know someone coming, but we can make that. A pretty nippy tractor. Oh, a little bit of a frame drop there. Master Parish Church. Morning figure. We should have used our access road, shouldn't we? That's what we should have done. That's what he's there for. We must remember that next time. No, don't mind me, mate. You just carry on steaming in. It's fine. Fill your boots. Right then, let's put this into work mode. And yeah, this is the... Uh, trailer I've, uh, I've altered the timings on, you'll see what I mean in a sec. Just increases everything so you can actually use this rather than the auto loader. That's uh, the, t uh, the f I think it's the Flegel, is it? The UAL. Just all the timings are sped up. And if anyone's interested in this, uh, the link to the XML file and the previous tutorial video I did on it. I should really have a bell pusher on this. But I'll probably time lapse it after I've done this. But this video, this episode is probably just going to be oriented towards uh, collecting bowels, I'm afraid. Oh. Downhill braking is not great with this. The brake pedal on this G29 is a little bit stiff. 
I know you can mod it, but I don't really want to invalidate my warranty. How many more do we need? Room for six more. And the best thing about this is the unload speed when it comes to standing the bales up and ejecting them. But we are going to have to go to level ground because I can see what's going to happen because it's happened to me before. Slightest wobble on a gradient and that is it. The whole stack falls over. Hmm. Level ground, he says. I don't think such a thing exists in this field. I think this is as good as it's going to get, really. So we shall unload here, I believe. Right, so we'll just watch the speed. A lot faster. And a lot more efficient. Please don't split. There we go. Pull away. Nice and easy. And the reset speed is a lot faster too. So if anyone is interested in this, I'll put a link to the uh, video. And the XML link is within the uh, description of that. So I think we're going to go for a time lapse now. Just to keep the video length down. Because otherwise we won't get anything done this uh, episode. And I will see you in a minute. I hope you enjoy it. too painful to watch um, I just I can't uh, work out how to do this without time-lapse so that's the bells all collected happy days and now we're gonna do stand this last stack up and then we shall take this back to the farm we're gonna keep this on lease for now because we've actually got another a barley field up the road so it'd be pointless to take it back and then pay another initial rental charge is that gate still open yeah there we go we should really shut the gate but yeah there's the baler in the combine from the last art, uh, episode not looking forward to moving the uh, combine again because it's going to be a little bit Mm. It's a little bit tight on these turns, and the civilians don't help. There's a prime example of how sharp they turn. They literally, no indication they're going to down out that road. They're going straight. They're going straight. Oh no! I'm changing directions. I've actually had them dig straight into the side of my tractor or trailer and it's just yeah it should not be that hard i don't want to turn traffic off because i do like the uh having to look left and right at junctions 
But if we have to, we have to. See now, he's wigged out because of... Yeah, the, yeah, mm, we're going to have to make a decision because that is going to be absolute... That, that's the main junction to the farm and they're going to be gone. They won't be gone by the time we need to come back through and we've got to bring the, uh, the bell tractor through. In a moment, anyway. So I think we may use a jump cut in a moment because... Uh, Unless you'd rather see time lapses, um, you're going to have to put in the comments what you want to see. Because uh, I'm trying to make this series work, um, but I don't know. Oh, watch out, Eel. I don't know how we want to run it, because this video is made for yourselves, for your entertainment. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing them. But we need to check there's, there was a counterweight somewhere. Where was it? But it's a lightweight one, uh, one ton. It's up there. Why is it up there? We're do you know what? We're just going to buy two and a. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the store. I'm so sorry about this. I, <laughs> I should have got more organised off camera. And I promise things will get better as we go along with this series. Please stick with it. Come on, Eeyore. Out of way. Hopefully we don't run into any trees. Ooh, bit bouncy there. Cool, that was tight. Can we go right out of here? No, got to go through that junction that's dodgy. We're going to have to lower this uh, loading arm down. This front loader down. Without obscuring our vision. Oop. Civilians. They just don't care. I, I think my day could go rather well without forcing some bell tines through your, through your windscreen. I think that's an argument you're never going to win. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm insured. I can only apologise. Let's move that. <laughs> Yeah, the junction's still knackered. So, let's see if we can thread the needle. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. It's carnage at the junction. Right, so we go to the store. The only gripe I've got about this map is the access roads. There's not... Like, this is the only way. So if that junction's gone, you're pretty much, you've pretty much had it. I'm scared I'm going to write another car off here. If I go quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. Which, as you know, it's hard for men to do more than one thing, apparently. Off the verge. We've actually got a bail trailer over here. I don't know where we're going to put the bales yet. I think we're going to put them. I believe the cows are up to the right near the store. And we've got a, uh, a placeable area, so I think we'll just run them up there and offload them. But first, we're going to go get the counterweight from the store. And then we'll go and get the lorry, and we'll do a bit of follow me, I think. Go to the right. There's the counterweight. I bet it's facing the wrong way again. Hopefully we can get the turn on it. Go 
Got to manually attach it. Are we close enough? We need to see if we manually get it. Nope, we got it. Lovely. Right, now, I need to get the lorry. Which, for some reason, is here. It reset itself to here, which is not great. How do I... Excuse me, I'm going to... Where do I... Right, that's it, that's the access point. Right. The lorry... Another gate, joyous. The one thing I have noticed with all these modded maps, they love a gate. But farmers need gates. Yeah, there's a placeable area. I think we're going to be shunting the uh, the bells up to there temporarily because the cows are here. So it would make sense. Now we've got to try and link this up to that trailer, so uh, stand by your beds for a laugh. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to couple it from this angle. Get in, I've got to actually hold the uh, brake pedal for reverse in. in the pin. There we go. I think we will drive the lorry back and we will see if uh, a lovely helper would mind bringing the bell tractor back with us. So bear with me. Gotta lift the weight at the back. Right, let's see. I've got a feeling we're going to uh, have issues with traffic, but we can only try. So, here we go. Turn the instructions off. I just wish the traffic, if they see you as pulling out, they'd actually stop. But they don't. Look, look at that! I mean, look! What a chance have you got? Just try not to get hung up. Is Derek working? Yep, he's on the move. Well done, Derek. Uh, we're going to go up the access road. Wow. Do you know what? Traffic's got to go. Traffic has to go. It's too derpy. I am sorry, viewers, but we, we can't put up with that. It's just ridiculous. You actually see it first hand there. Whoop. Come on, Derek, keep up. Now, the reason we come in this way is because we've got stacks of bells, and I didn't really want um, Derek having a dirt moment and spazzing into him, so. But we are going to have to do some jump cutting and a lot of time lapsing, I think. Because the video is going to be very long otherwise. And that's another thing. How, how long would you guys be willing to watch a video for? That is that is the question. Because it doesn't bother me. I'm already in the game. So I could play it for hours. So what we're going to do here. It's a little bit weird. Don't smash in. Smash into me, thanks Derek, thank you. Derpy Derek, that's your name. Well, it wasn't Derek, sorry. Denise. Sorry Denise, gonna have to let you go, my dear. Denise is gone. So basically what we're gonna do 
is we set this into work mode, work position, so it's set for square bells, lovely. This is an idea I come up with. It's It takes away the need to be sitting there for hours and hours and hours trying to get the uh, bells to go on straight. I'm just going to switch my joystick. Hopefully you can still hear me. Yep, push the talk's working on there. It just uh, adds a bit more realism. Oh, brakes are not great. Bear with. And the best thing is they go on perfectly straight. And we haven't got them tight enough. But if you would just rather me just walk up to it with the UAL trailer, that's fine with me. I'm doing this for entertainment purposes for you guys. More than anything, drop the weight. And then gonna come round, lift them up very carefully, no hard braking, so we will end up on the deck. And then just get near the wagon and voila. They load perfectly and you don't edit. You don't have to spend time pushing them over and over and over trying to get them perfect. And it's more fun doing it this way, I think. And any, any excuse to use a joystick, really. We haven't got these very well. I reckon we're going to get away with it nice and steady. Another thing while I think of it, if that camera, if you like the camera idea but it's not in the right place, let me know where on the screen you'd like me to move it. Because I put it there because I thought it would be out of uh, everyone's way, but I've just looked at the uh, preview and it's quite obtrusive. And if we don't like it, we won't use it. It's that simple. But. We will load this one and then we are going to have to time lapse, I'm afraid. I think it's going to take at least three shunts with this uh, wagon. Maybe less. So we've got room for six more. the top of that stack there. If I was richer, I would uh, obviously have another trailer up here because we want to get this done. But um, I'm probably going to time lapse for the time being, and I will be back shortly. I'm sorry about the time lapses, but I can't see any other way. But I will be right back.
but we are now back. Um, yeah, I can only apologise for these time lapses, but uh, that's the end of this field. Now we're going to lose part of this stack by the looks of it. Get it round. And we have just enough room for the four stray bowels from the other two stacks. I would get fancy and go and stack them on the other ones, but uh, no. Just going to get them on the lorry. Should be all good. Right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're uh, we're going to leave it there because, um, yeah, the video is already quite long, but it is going to be time lapse, like I've said before. But if you don't like the time lapses and you've got a suggestion how we can run it, stick it in the comments below. I am all ears, and I want to make this series work. Basically, it's a beautiful map, um, and I've really got the buzz for this game. And trying to make it as realistic as possible. I'm sorry the traffic had to go, but you see. A prime example of how um, derpy the traffic is um, by the uh, kamikaze run into the side of me uh, vehicle. But uh, also, if you like this camera setup and you want to see more of the wheel, the joystick, keyboard, and everything else that I do, let me know in the comments if the camera is in the wrong place. Um, I can move it. Tell me where you would like to move the box to so it's not encroaching on your view. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. Because um, without you, this video, these videos would be pointless. Um, I stream daily over on Twitch. The link will be below in the description to my channel. Um, it's normally farming sim, but we mix it up occasionally with other games. But as you're here watching this video, I imagine you're here for the farming sim. So we will continue with it. I've been H2Kera. Thanks very much. Take care. Goodbye.